Hello there and welcome to Fairyland Cottage and thanks very much for joining me here today. I thought we would make some soda bread. I have many different recipes on the channel but this is the one I've been making for the last year or so. It's very simple, I use whatever milk I have in the fridge, this is some almond milk and what you want to do is you want to sour the milk. So add a little bit of apple cider vinegar. And during last year I did try sourdough and it just wasn't for me. I'm probably a little bit impatient. I love how soda bread is so quick and easy to make. And the main thing that you need is the baking soda or bicarb of soda. That's the thing that helps it to rise. If you don't have that in it, it's kind of going to be like just a lump. I always like to add a little bit more nutrition with seeds. Ones I'm loving for the last year are sunflower seeds, pumpkin seeds. But you really could add whatever nut and seed you like. And of course, the main ingredient is flour. Now, I'm very fond of spelt flour. It's very low in gluten, but it's a very easily digestible gluten. Of course, it's not suitable for anybody who's gluten intolerant, but some people who can't stomach gluten are able to have spelt flour. But you can use any flour you like. If you don't have spelt, you can just use very simple plain flour or bread flour. The only things that don't always work would be things that are gluten free. So buckwheat flour won't really work that well. And of course you need your level teaspoon of baking soda. And this is something that you have to mix in really well. If you don't mix it in well, sometimes the bread can come out green. And of course a little bit of salt just to bring out the flavor. Now usually I will whip this up in about five minutes. And of course then into the oven it goes. It's just so simple. We haven't bought bread for years and years. And if you're super lazy, you don't need to add the apple cider vinegar to the milk before you start. You can just add it here like the way you make a well. Now I just thought I'd try this. A friend gifted it to me. It's chicory root syrup. And I'd never heard of it before, I'd never used it. And it's kind of like a honey alternative. And it comes from the chicory plant. So adding a sweetener is completely optional. It's just if you have a little bit of a sweet tooth. Now traditionally Irish soda bread, like I said, made with buttermilk and plain flour and then also it would be a drier consistency and you'd kind of mold it into a ball. But I find this way far easier. It gives a lovely moist crisp bread. I'll always use a silicone pan. I just find it much easier to be able to get the bread out afterwards. And if you get some good quality silicone, it should last you a really long time. And then last but not least would always be some seeds on top. So poppy seeds or sesame seeds. And the only thing you have to remember is just to kind of bash them down. Otherwise they just all fall off. And that's it. Into the oven it goes for about 40 to 45 minutes at about just under 180. But you can check out the recipe I've left it below. And then one always has to be patient after with bread because you need to just let it sit for about half an hour. It's so tempting to just have warm hot bread straight from the oven, but it's not supposed to be as good for your digestion. So I always do it where I have something to do when I'm waiting for the bread to be cooked. And then, all that's left to do is have yourself some tea, 
some bread and some jam and just sit there and contemplate life. And you can see the way it kind of bulges up in the middle. And this is still quite fresh. It's only about half an hour after being in the oven. So maybe after a day or two, you can toast it. But there's nothing like a little bit of homemade jam. So that's today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. People are always asking what's the soda bread or what's the bread that I always make. And this is what I've been making for the last year or so. So let's chat as always down below or over on Instagram. And as always, thank you so much for watching this video. Have a wonderful week. Keep it simple. And I'll see you in the next video.